Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 10th PowerPoint 2007 tutorial. And what I'm going to do uh, today is share with you an introduction to animation. So what I have is just a real simple deck here, three slides. And what I want to show you is the first thing we're going to talk about is slide transition. So in order to get an animation, you go to the ribbon here, go to animations, and then you get several options right here. Hit the pull down menu over here and you get several more. For example, slide to the left on transition, slide to the right. You know, lots and lots of options. So we're going to go ahead and do, yeah, we'll choose this one right here. So now, um, what we can do is unclick that, uh, the automatically after that's a, a timer setting from a previous tutorial. But typically you're going to have on mouse click uh, chosen and that is going to uh, advance your slides via mouse click. So let's go into the presentation mode. Well, let me make that smaller here. And I am going to go back into the slideshow. And you notice it's just on the first slide. So what I want to do, I'm going to hit escape to get out of there. I'm going to go back to animations and I am going to click apply to all and that's going to apply to apply to every every slide in the deck so now as you can see it gives you that same animation um, per slide okay so the same thing goes for sound so let's assume that we wanted to use the drum roll if I did that you see the same thing happens. It applies it only to the slide that's highlighted. If I click apply to all, whoops, sorry, apply to all, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and you notice it's on every slide. Okay, so that's what I want to share with you. Um, so some other things that you can edit here. You can change the speed of it, slow, medium, or fast. So there's slow medium and fast so you can change it to whatever uh, setting you would like okay so another thing I want to share with you is you can animate an object so I can highlight an object here I go under animations and I can go over to here under animations and I can do a couple of different things like fade let me get rid of these other um, animations to make this a little clearer here so I'm going to do this and say no transition, apply to all. So now it's just a normal normal deck. I've got my object highlighted and it could be whatever. I just chose this graphic here. And I could choose fade. Whoop, sorry about that. Let me get rid of the sound here. Apply to all. So now again, I choose fade. And you can see it fades. I could do wipe, fly in or I could go to custom animation. If I go to custom animation, I can do any number of things here. For example, right here, uh, this must have been from before when I was, so I'm gonna alter that, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna add an effect. So on my entrance, I'm gonna say checkerboard, right? And, and by the way, there's several common options here. That will do fly in, I, fly in, I guess. But there's also more effects here. We're gonna do fly in and that's what it does and then you can you can set the direction uh, you know from the left set the speed we'll say medium and it moves in like that so then the other things you can do is you can add multiple effects so you can go into emphasis and depending on what your object is some options may not be here so I'll just do spin right for the heck of it here so now I can go ahead and add what what uh, happens on exit? I can do motion, you know, motion paths, diagonal down right, diagonal upright, and so forth. The other thing I can do here is I can go in here and on my effects here, uh, I can go in and I can right click over here, and I can choose options like timing of it. When does it happen after the you know? Does it happen on a click? Does it happen after a certain amount of time, and so forth? So that you know, so depending on what your effect is, 
that will change the options over here. And when you highlight that effect or that animation, you'll get this option over here to, to uh, you know, to add to that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and highlight these and just click remove for right now. And to remove them, you just highlight them and hit remove. I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to talk a little bit about text. So over here, this is a good example. I'm going to highlight text here. And I am going to go to animation. And you can do several things, right? We could do fade all at once and you can see what's happening on the screen. Or you could do by first level paragraph. You can wipe it all at once, you know, by paragraph. Fly in all at once. Or you could go down here and go to custom animation and do the do the same things that we did before, right? So I'm going to look at the same options that we looked at before. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it fairly simple here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose fade by first level paragraphs. And what that's going to do, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go ahead and hit slideshow. So now my title comes up in this case because I haven't done anything to that. And now I hit the uh, down arrow or the space bar and it brings up my first bullet point so if you want to walk through your presentation bullet point by bullet point this is a good way to do that so I'm hitting the space bar here to add these different um, bullet points in here and again that was going under highlighting that block of text and going under animate and in this case I said by first level paragraphs um, all at once so there's lots of different options you can do there okay so that's really what I wanted to share with you tonight is give you uh, a, an overview of animation and how to use it and some common ways to do that so thanks for joining and please don't forget to subscribe thanks